Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Molecular Makeup. My name is Ashley and I'm a chemist who has a passion for makeup artistry and skincare. And today I'm going to be talking about the ingredients in Kylie Jenner's new skincare line, Kylie Skin. And telling you if I think that these are good or bad for your skin and if it's worth the price. And there are actually a couple of products that I personally think would be good products. So stick around if you want to find out my opinion. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the foaming face wash. The main ingredient in that that I highly support is kiwi seed extract. And there have been studies that support that kiwi seed extract is anti-inflammatory and is also um, has antioxidant effects. So I definitely think that this is a great ingredient. Um, it has very similar effects to grapeseed oil, however, and in the studies it does show that grapeseed oil is actually slightly more effective at um, increasing moisture in the skin, um, um, the anti-inflammatory effects, etc. So personally, um, I think that this is a great ingredient to have in the skincare line. However, I think there are probably other skincare products with grapeseed oil that are, are less expensive. $24 for a face wash is kind of expensive. I understand that you are uh, paying for the name brand, but I do think that it is expensive for this face wash. However, I do uh, think that is a great ingredient in this face wash. It also has a derivative of hyaluronic acid, which there are several studies that support that hyaluronic acid increases moisture and hydration in the skin. Um, it is lightly fragranced, and fragrance is um, can be an issue in skincare, and I would definitely recommend watching Dr. Dre. I'll link her channel below, and actually she has a video reviewing um, Kylie skin and uh, she talks about um, the problem with fragrance in skincare and cosmetics in her videos so definitely check out her videos for more information on that um, because this is something that you're washing off your face I can kind of look past the fact that it's lightly fragranced but for some people that might be an issue but um, I definitely think that it has ingredients that are beneficial for the skin but I do honestly think that it is a bit overpriced okay the next product I want to talk about is the face moisturizer so the face moisturizer contains shea butter which shea butter there's so many studies on the skin benefits of shea butter so I think it's great that this contains shea butter as the main ingredient and so there was a study comparing the skin benefits of shea butter creams versus ceramide creams ceramide creams are actually usually about twice the cost of shea butter creams so um, in this study they have participants try shea butter creams and some try ceramide creams. Um, they didn't know which cream they were trying. The patients reported very similar results So, for treating eczema. So um, shea butter is, seems to be just as effective as ceramide creams for treating eczema and dry skin. So I think it's a great ingredient and it's more economical. So $24 that is kind of expensive for a face moisturizer, but not it's not a terrible price. Um, you know, maybe for the ingredient, you know, I know that there definitely are shea butter moisturizers out there that are certainly less expensive than this. The only um, other ingredients that I think, you know, make it stand out are the kiwi seed oil, like I mentioned in the um, foaming face wash, kiwi seed oil. Um, there are studies to support skin, skin benefits of kiwi seed oil. Um, another thing is this orange peel extract. Now, again, check out Dr. Dre's video because she said that it is actually false that they are claiming this is fragrance free because orange peel actually um, is considered a fragrance and can be irritating to skin, some skin types. Um, so just know that if you are sensitive to um, orange extract, it does contain that. This orange extract in her um, moisturizer is um, bitter, is actually a uh, bitter orange peel extract. But I found several studies for sweet orange peel extract and mandarin orange peel extract. 
um, with several skin benefits. So personally, I think that it would have been better to include one of those orange peel extracts. Um, so again, I think that it has some good ingredients, but it's probably overpriced because the main ingredient that I think is great here is the shea butter. Um, and you can definitely find um, other shea butter moisturizers for less expensive. But it's not the, but I don't think it's like a terrible ripoff. There are definitely other moisturizers that have, you know, pretty bad ingredients and, you know, not so many skin benefits that are more expensive. So I actually am pretty supportive of this uh, product and this skincare line. Now, the one product that I think is actually really great in this skincare line is the eye cream. So I am impressed with this one because it's fragrance free. It has jojoba seed oil, which jojoba oil is the most structurally similar to our natural skin oil. So um, our skin readily absorbs it. And again, it contains the kiwi seed oil. So I do think that this um, is a good product and it's $20 for the eye cream. I think that is a pretty reasonable price. Most eye creams on the market are about that price that I've seen um, that you know have similar ingredients or and similar skin benefits. So I think that's a pretty fair price. So now as far as the walnut scrub, I have made a video discussing the walnut scrub previously um, in detail. So I'll leave that link below. So basically just to summarize, I couldn't find any benefit of walnut scrub and there are many dermatologists including Dr. Dre who claim that walnut scrub, you cannot grind it in such a way, you cannot uh, pulverize it in such a way that it will not create micro tears in your skin. It has rough edges no matter how you grind it and it will create micro tears in the skin linked to inflammation, etc. And the only article that I found that would support any benefit to it was um, walnut scrub in conjunction with an enzyme to help reduce hyperpigmentation. And again, that was in conjunction with an enzyme. Her product does not claim to uh, reduce hyperpigmentation. So I definitely don't see any benefit in the walnut scrub. And based on the claims by many dermatologists, I would not use it since it, you know, they claim that it creates micro tears in the skin. So if I were going to purchase anything from this line, I think it would be worth checking out the moisturizer, maybe. But again, I think it is overpriced. I think the eye cream would be worth checking out because it seems like a fairly decent price compared to other similar products on the market and all the ingredients in it have skin benefits um, and it seems well thought out as far as the eye cream. So um, that's my opinion. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any more skincare lines or cosmetic products that you'd like for me to explain the ingredients or give my review of ingredients let me know. Also let me know, um, would you like me to go into more detail for the studies conducted or do you like it like this where it's just more of like a broad overview? Um, just let me know what you're interested in in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.